Yep, I probably do need to tidy my desk up. In this video, I'm going to tell you how you can install Line, Dual Boot Line, and Snow Leopard on the same Mac. And hopefully it's going to be kind of useful for those of you wanting to test the waters before it's officially released. The advantages of getting this right now or testing it right now is so it doesn't really come as a surprise come July. Or for me at least, being in the kind of tech scene, I want to kind of stay ahead of the game per se. Uh, see what's good, what's you know bad and then come when I'm kind of advising people of what to get. Uh, you know, should you go out and get a line and from what I've used for the past 24 hours, great. Uh, £20 is an app steal for what you're getting. Uh, UI, everything, spot on. Uh, love every single thing about it. I've made a separate video on a demo or a hands-on review of uh, Line itself. If you haven't seen it, click on the screen to go to that video. But I'm going to show you, because I've had a lot of requests as to where can I get this from, how do I install it into my Mac and so on. And I thought I would make this video and clear things up. So one of the first things is, is your Mac compatible with Line? On the screen are some specs that you need. The basic specs are a Core 2 Geo processor and the Macs on your screen. But work with Core i3s, Core i5s, any latest Mac. I think any Macs purchased after 2006, December 2006. So make sure you, before you go out and get line, your yeah, computer is up to date kind of thing. If it's any kind of older than 2006, you saw, need to probably invest in a Mac. Any time now would be good. But the million dollar question is how or where do I get line from? There's one way, uh, you need to be a developer. In order to be a developer, you can be, anyone can be a developer, but you have to pay for a yearly subscription. The yearly subscription is going to cost you £59, or if you stay outside the UK, it's $99, US and it's quite good because it gives you kind of a yearly subscription, and any latest developments on the Mac front, you get the builds to test it out. I know not a lot, everyone's going to be keen on this because it's not the kind of, you know, up to date or you don't want to pay for a better program, essentially. I've spoken to a few people and uh, quite a few people are recommending something called, what was it? Uh, what's the name of that? It's quite a hard word, I can't remember it. Torrent? Torrent? Torrents? I'm not too sure what it is. I do it on your own risk. I have no idea what Torrents is. I, the first time I'm hearing it, um, it could be the real thing, it could be fake, I'm not too sure. But those people who did tweet me did say it worked fine, um, but I'm not taking any kind of guarantee. I've never used it myself, obviously. Um, so, you know, do it at your own risk. That is free, apparently. Um, but yeah, that, I guess those are the only two ways in getting access to line at this stage. So the way in which I would recommend installing Line is dual booting and by that what I mean is when you put your Mac on you get an option of either booting into Snow Leopard or Line. And that is particularly good because Line is a better program, not all of your apps are going to work on it so the last thing you want to do is wipe your entire hard drive and you know primarily install Line because it's not, you're going to hit kick yourself because some apps aren't going to work and then you're going to have to reformat, install Snow Leopard again, or install all your files all over again and it's not going to be easy. If you have a lot of time to kill, go for it. But the best option, your know, best possible uh, option is to dual boot. Uh, and it's quite simple and this is what I'm going to explain. This is the way I've got it on my MacBook Air and it works an absolute treat. Works very similar to Boot Camp for those of you who have got Windows and Mac. Very simple and I'm going to show you now. First thing that you want to do is turn off your Mac and then get your boot up disk or your boot up drive if you have a MacBook Air. Get that ready, put it in, Put your Mac on and then boot from the installation disk. Once that loaded up, go into Disk Utilities, click on your hard drive, click on Partition, and then on the bottom left hand corner of that screen will be a plus sign to create a partition. Click on that and then assign whatever space you want to personally on the MacBook Air because I've not got much space. I've got 128 gig hard drive on my MacBook Air. So I've assigned 20 to 25. I'm not going to be installing much stuff. I don't want to take too much away from Snow Leopard. Generally, as Line is kind of still in the beta stages or not, you know, most apps aren't working, so I'm not going to be d downloading much stuff. Uh, 20 to 25 is enough, but you can assign however much space you want. And no, this is not going to hurt your files in Snow Leopard, so don't worry, nothing is going to get deleted from your Snow Leopard files, your programs, your settings. Your Snow Leopard kind of partition is going to stay exactly the same. It, all your hard drive is doing is splitting the hard drive up. So once you've assigned the space, click on partition, it's going to take a few minutes. Now at this stage, if you have any errors, you have to repair the disk, which is still in the same tab. So repair the disk and then repeat the process and then it should be absolutely fine. So the next step is to restart the machine and log into Snow Leopard and then locate the DMG file for line, double click the installer, 
Make sure now that line is being installed on the new partition that you have created and then boom, it will just create it and voila, you are into line. Happy days, enjoy. Let me know in the comments or a video response if this tutorial was helpful. Are you finding line? Have you found any kind of bugs? So I would put this video together seeing as a lot of people in my last video said, hey, how on earth did you get line? How can we get it? How can we test it out? And I thought I would make this video make it clear the best possible way as to doing it. Very simple, it's not rocket science. Guys, I hope you like this video. If you can rate, comment and subscribe, that would be fantastic. If not, not an issue. I will see you guys in another life. Cheers.